Understanding corrective action in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very important phrase in English, corrective action. This term is widely used in various contexts, and understanding it can greatly enhance your English communication skills. So, let's dive in and unravel the meaning and usage of corrective action. Corrective action is composed of two words, corrective and action. First, let's look at each word separately. Corrective is an adjective that comes from the verb correct, meaning to make something right or to fix an error. Action is a noun that refers to the act of doing something for a particular purpose. When combined, corrective action refers to steps taken to fix a problem or correct a mistake. It is often used in professional and academic settings. To understand corrective action better, let's see how it's used in different contexts. 1. In the workplace. 2. The company took corrective action after realizing its accounting errors. 3. Here, it means the company acted to fix its accounting mistakes. 4. In education. 5. The teacher implemented corrective action to improve the student's performance. 6. This means the teacher took steps to help the student do better. 7. In everyday life. 8. He took corrective action to mend his relationship with his friend. 9. In this case, it refers to efforts made to resolve issues in a friendship. Understanding synonyms can broaden your understanding of corrective action. Some similar terms include remedial measures, focused on remedying or fixing an issue, rectification, the act of correcting something or making it right, amendment, a minor change to correct a fault. Each of these terms can be used in similar situations but may carry slight variations in meaning or formality. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and use of corrective action. Remember, it's a phrase that implies taking steps to fix a problem or error, and it's applicable in various life scenarios. Keep practicing and incorporating this phrase into your English conversations, and you'll find it becomes a natural part of your vocabulary. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.